I got tattoos. I got some tattoos. I don't know what that was. I got tattoos. Do you want to see them? I'm sure you do. For a long, long time, I've been talking about wanting to get tattoos for years and years and years and years now. And I finally bit the bullet and got two tattoos, and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm kind of just using this as an excuse to make an update vloggy video because I haven't done that in a while. Also, shooting this on the new Sony a7S III, so let me know how it looks! I mean, it's probably not gonna look that different just because I'm in the normal setup that I'm always in, but I'm gonna record this in 4K. But yeah, I got two tattoos! One here, one here, one here! I'll show you up close. This is the first one, little skull boy. Look at that, that's nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. And then I got this one. Little X, little X marks the spot. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so just two, uh, two little tattoos. I'm very excited about it. I want to get a bunch of tattoos. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's not, like, a ton of meaning into them. This one I kind of got for Unisonis just because... I wanted to have something just to uh, to remember Unisonis by, uh, and I also just loved this little skull design. Uh, my buddy Jamie Draws on Twitter uh, made this design. He's a tattoo artist, uh, but he lives in Ireland, um, and so obviously I'm not going to be going to Ireland anytime soon. Um, if I did, I'd love for him to tattoo me, but uh, he drew this little guy up, and I'm pumped about that. And then the little X is kind of funny. A lot of people think that this is stupid. I also think it's stupid, but I think it's very funny and endearing and wholesome. Uh, Spencer, my lovely little boy, uh, when he was in the shelter, he got neutered, and so a lot of times shelters give little tiny tattoos uh, on shelter dogs just to signify this dog has been neutered, so then the next shelter, if they go to another shelter, doesn't have to go and do the procedure again. So he has a little green X on his stomach, uh, this is just black, but I thought that it would be funny for Spencer and I to have matching tattoos. So, I did that. Um, I, I wasn't really nervous, to be honest, going into it, um, and I think I was thinking about it a lot, and I was like, okay, it's because I've been pepper sprayed. And I know that after doing the pepper spray, like, I know that we've said this a lot in Unis Honest videos, but, like, Nothing's gonna be more painful than that and this really didn't hurt at all. It didn't feel wonderful or anything Well, it kind of felt good actually. I don't know It was a lot less pokey and like pricky than I was thinking it was gonna be it was a lot more just like Vibrations kind of it felt like a scratch like a really intense scratch. Honestly the worst part of it was when uh I got my tattoos by the wonderful Louis Perez over at uh, Tip Top Tattoo down in Fullerton, California. He was so awesome. He was so chill. Um, I was so happy that he could he could swing me in. Uh, such a cool guy. Made me feel so at home, so at ease for my first tattoo, and he seemed pumped to be able to do my first tattoo, so so that was really cool. And they were super, super safe about, about COVID stuff. Um, everybody obviously had to be wearing a mask. You couldn't bring any friends with you. They only allow certain uh, a certain amount of people in the shop at one time. There was only one other person there. Um, and they were constantly like wiping things down, so it was it was very very safe, and they were they were super cool about everything. But the most the most painful part, honestly, was once he was done with the tattoo. He I'm assuming it was alcohol. I don't know what it actually was, but he wiped down the tattoo to to just clean it, and that stung so bad, so so bad, just because it's like raw skin uh, that's just been you know tattooed with a with a needle. Yeah, I didn't I didn't film any of it if. If I was allowed to bring a friend, like I would have maybe had Mark or Amy film it for me. Um, but I didn't. I didn't want to be that guy, really. And it also, like, I don't know. It was fun to just do something for me and not film it, you know. But it was really cool. I'm glad that I finally did it. I love these little guys a lot. I'm planning on getting a bunch more. I'm probably just gonna get a lot of just line art kind of stuff and just just black ink. I think. I don't think I want any colored ones, at least for now. Um, but it was, it was really cool. I'm glad that I did it. A lot of you <laughs> seem to like it a lot. Um, and I'm excited, I'm excited to get more because I think tattoos are really cool. And I think it's a cool form of self-expression kind of. And it's just cool to just kind of have art on your body uh, in, in different ways. So yeah, I think they're pretty sweet. Um, I think these suit me, and I think if I get more, it'll continue to suit me. Little, <laughs> little bad boy Eve. <laughs> yeah! 
Okay, that's the tattoo update for you. That's kind of that's kind of all I have to say about <laughs> about the tattoos. Like, there's really not much to say. I've been I've been putting Aquaphor on these multiple times a day, just trying to keep them moist and and healthy and everything because I want them to heal really well. Whenever I shower, I, I very lightly uh, with with soap and water clean them off, just get them sanitary, and then and then four or five times a day, I've been I've been putting Aquaphor on it. Just to keep them keep them moist, um, not too too moist, but you know, just want to make sure they heal up nice. And they they seem to be going good so far. Not a lot of redness, not a lot of irritation. Um, pretty pretty good. Also, they're they're both really small tattoos, so um, they shouldn't be be too bad, you know. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to use this as an excuse to make a little update video and say hi because I haven't just casually sat down and talked uh, to you guys in a while. I am so itchy. I just worked out. <laughs> and so I just like, I have a bunch of energy because I just was moving and grooving a lot. I'm non-stop playing with my hair too. I'm sure you've noticed. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much. <laughs> this month on the channel has been the most successful month of the channel ever, um, which is crazy. The channel has never gotten more views than now. The channel has never gotten more views per video than now. It's insane how much support has been on the channel uh, recently. We just passed over 1.5 million subs, which is absolutely insane. It's so crazy. Um, I don't know why so many people are coming to the channel in, in heaps and droves and, and watching the videos, but I'm really glad that you guys are here. It's cool seeing so many people spread the word about the channel. Uh, and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying the videos that I'm making. I'm having so much fun making videos. Um, I, uh, I'm really, really excited for the future. Um, it's, it's very bittersweet, of course. Um, but I, I'm really excited to just go full force into my channel once Unisanis ends. I feel like for the last few years, and I'm kind of going to use this as an excuse, but, you know, I've had a lot of other shit going on, and I haven't been able to fully focus into my channel. Um, whether it's been Unis Honest or going on tour or just do doing a bunch of conventions or whatever, um, you know, there's been a lot of other stuff that has been taking up a lot of time, even just like my own mental health, uh, and dealing with that. But I feel like I'm at a really good place right now. Like I feel, I feel so excited to be making videos again. And I feel like this drive is coming back. Um, and I'm just really excited to go full force into my channel once once Unisonis is done. And Unisonis has been such a fun thing to do for the past year. It's so crazy that there's only like a month left. I think it's really just like kind of lit a fire under my ma my ass because it's been a ton of hard work, but it's also shown me what I'm capable of in a way. Like not to sound pretentious or anything, but but making the videos that we have on Unisonis, like there's been a lot of videos that we've had big ideas for and there's been very fleshed out things but there's been other times where we really don't know what to make but we still are having fun and making funny videos even with nothing there and so it's just sort of shown me that like I'm capable of making good stuff I don't know also I was itching my arm right there I was not itching my tattoo don't worry I haven't been itching them at all I've been very good about not itching them but it, it's just shown me that like I'm really good at what I do and I can be really funny, and I can make really cool shit, and like, if I put my mind to it, like, I can make some good stuff! And I'm, 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 I don't know, I'm proud of myself right now, and I'm very excited to, to continue that, and to make more stuff, and selfishly, I'm really excited to, you know, be able to make my own stuff again. Um, I, again, loved Unis Honest, but it, it is kind of an idea vacuum where any idea that Mark has or that I have, it's like, okay, let's put that to Unis Honest. Let's not do that for our own channels, which makes sense because it's like, you know, we're only doing it for a year, but I am excited to, to be able to do stuff for my own channel again that I think are funny ideas, if you know what I mean. Um, and so I'm, I'm just excited to make more cool stuff and, and push myself a little bit more and, and step outside of my comfort zone. Um, before Unis Honest started, I was thinking about making another channel, uh, not replacing Crank Gameplays, but in addition to Crank Gameplays, to just sort of make whatever I wanted. Um, and that's what got Mark and I into talking about making Unis Honest, because he had the idea of the self-deleting channel. Doing Unis Honest has just shown me that I don't need another channel to do that. I can do all of that here. Um, and I'm, 
I don't know. I'm excited to do new stuff this year um, on my own channel and just go outside of my comfort zone. I don't need to be pigeonholed into gaming or anything like that. I can do other things, and I'm I'm super excited to do that. And it's been really crazy recently just seeing how much support has been coming to the channel. No matter what I'm doing, kind of, which is really crazy. Um, I don't really know what's happening, why the videos have been doing so good recently, but thank you so much for, for watching them. But yeah, I'm, I'm just at a, I'm at a good place YouTube wise. Like I feel confident in my own videos. Um, I feel excited about making videos. I feel like I've, I've got some fun ideas down the pipeline. Uh, I feel like, I don't know. I've been working a lot harder recently. Um, and I, also a huge, huge, huge thank you to Justin, who has been editing all of the videos. I'm going to edit this one myself so he can find this later. I'm saying nice things about you, Justin. But he truly has been, like, the backbone of the channel. He's been busting his ass making hilarious edits for, for the channel. He's also been uh, pretty much doing the, the whole VOD channel as well. If you don't know, I have a VOD channel because I stream on Twitch um, a few times a week. And so that channel, I just put up entirely unedited, just the raw live stream up on there. And so he's been doing almost all of the uploading and the thumbnails for that channel as well. Um, and it's, it's crazy seeing how well that channel is doing as well. It's, it's nutty. Uh, we're almost at 100k over there. And the Twitch streams have been doing crazy too. We've been getting like four or 5,000 viewers per stream. It's nutty. We just passed over, uh, over 4,000 subs over on Twitch. Everything's crazy. What the hell is happening? We're almost at a million followers on Instagram and on Twitter. It's nutty, dude. What are you doing? Thank you. It's really cool. It's just, it's really cool. Um, and I'm not, I don't mean to be talking about like numbers all the time because what I'm trying to get at is I'm, I'm really appreciative of all of the support that you guys have been giving me and like how excited you guys have been about, about the channel. Um, it's just really cool. And, uh, one of my friends slash mods texted me the other day and was like, hey, I just want to let you know that, like, your channel is, has, like, your videos have been really good recently. And it's clear that you're having a lot of fun and, like, people are really loving it. And I just wanted to say congrats. And that was just really cool. That was really cool. But, yeah, I'm glad you guys are liking the videos. I'm glad you're liking what I'm put them, putting out. I know that these are always extremely repetitive um, little vlogs, but I, I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you for everything that you do. Um, if you haven't already, go, I don't know how you would not, but uh, if you haven't watched any of Unis Honest at all, the channel does have less than a month, I think, once this video comes out, um, less than a month left until it's all deleted forever. So if you haven't, catch up on those videos because it's also getting to the point where uh, you won't be able to catch, there won't be enough time for you to catch up before it's all deleted, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for everything. Hope this video looks cool. Um, cool as in the quality is good. I'll give you one last look at my tattoos. There's, here's a little skull boy. Wow, little skull man. And here's the little X. Da 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 do. Pretty sick. <laughs> okay, anyway, gonna end this here. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Um, thanks for making my dreams come true.